Uh, good evening, welcome to Steam Wine Bar and Restaurant, another fire exit interview. Uh, two wonderful guests tonight, we have uh, Jeff Miller, former Derbyshire, England and uh, former Chevrolet Selectors, and of course Jimmy Anderson, quite a few chess wickets to his name. Jimmy, you played everywhere, all over the world, uh, Lords, the Gabba, MCG, downstairs in the basement bar at a fire exit, a Steam Wine Bar. Where does that rank in your career? Oh, this is right up there. Freaking <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you say bigger than an Ashy series win, maybe? Oh, we'll see how it goes. What <laughs> <laughs> happens first? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'll come to you first, Jeff. On right. to the Ashes. You're obviously playing in the Ashes coming up yep. this uh, August. England, chances, Australia, Smith, Warner, back, tune they're going to play. Maybe. How are you, how, how you see it going? It'll be tight. It's yeah. always, uh, Australia, England's always tight. Um, home advantage, um, playing. Hopefully playing pretty well, England. So it'll be tough, but they'll be ready to uh, to bounce back yeah. from what's happened both on and off the field with them. So it'll be a, a real tough game, but exciting and worth watching. Yeah. And do you think it will be? A, do you think it'll be a big even contest, though? Uh, I do think it'll be even. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you like to feel that just that uh, home advantage gives you the the one test one. Uh, yeah, sure of decent bowlers that we have as well might help out. Yeah, we, we've got a, we've got some decent uh, yeah. we've got some decent players. Stuart Vorticals. Um yeah, we're yeah, we'll still the fellow's name. Don't know. Yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll come to me. He's eventually. got a few wickets though, is he yeah. up and coming or Listen, just, has he got a future? Know, this fella in, in our conditions, in English conditions, is is the best in the world. So uh, it'll be very, very difficult for them. Yeah. But you know they'll uh, they'll be fighting their asses and uh, they'll be up for it. So I'm looking forward to it. But I've just got my fingers crossed that I'm just a little inkling that we'll just do it. Jimmy, I'm an answer at the World Cup. Uh, the one day coming up at the World Cup, England, home advantage again. With favourites, do you see it being that clear cut, or was it going to be a you know? Three or four teams could win. Anyone in the day could win. <clears throat> yeah, of course. I think there's a lot of strong teams in there. I think for England, they are number one in the world. They're favourites, home conditions. Um, but I think just the West Indies with Drew 2 2. You know, you think with this, the team we have, we should be beating the West Indies in the West Indies. So maybe there's, uh, we're not. You know, it might be a good wake up call, I think, for us ahead of it. We've got Pakistan first as well before yeah. that World Cup, a few games against them. Um, but I think we've got the talent, we've got the players that should get us close. I think. And Jeff, you as well, World Cup, who are you going to win it? I, I think we've got a great chance, yeah. And again, as uh, Jimmy's just said, it's a whole advantage thing. But there are a lot of teams who uh, yeah. will fancy their chance, a lot of good one day, one day teams now around the world. Uh, so consistency is the vital factor in it. We've got to make sure we play well all the time, you know, because just one or two bad games and, and you're gone. Well, there you go, another fire race interview, England for the World Cup. Of course, England for the Ashes, a topic to take up. Jim Spectres, Jimmy, Jim. Well, X, but still part way involved, maybe, out of England occasionally. Um, thank you very much.